Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verses 6 to 8 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. The Lord's promises are pure, like silver refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. Therefore, Lord, we know that you will protect the oppressed, preserving them forever from this lying generation, even though the wicked strut about and evil is praised throughout the land. Wow, family, I'm just starting to see a bit of a golden thread coming in here through the messages from this week. And if you haven't seen the messages from Monday to Wednesday, I'd like to encourage you to please go and watch them so that you can see what the Lord is saying, the overall message of the messages that have been shared this week. And we're seeing it again here today, this scripture is just so relevant to the times that we're living in. We're living in times where the wicked are strutting about, where evil is being praised throughout the land. Wicked, evil people out there are celebrating the sin and the disgusting, despicable things that they are doing, family. It's being celebrated in this day and age, the wrong things. And the you know, that's not how God wants it, family, but that is how things are at the end of the day. But this scripture is giving us a promise and it's saying that the Lord will protect the oppressed, family. We are oppressed. We are being crushed from every side as Christians. Things are getting tighter. Things are getting smaller. Rules are getting stricter. Some countries are even trying to govern the things that pastors can say from the pulpit, family. We are the oppressed. But the Bible says there that the Lord will preserve them forever from this lying generation. What does that mean, family? That means he will preserve us here on earth from this lying generation, but he'll also preserve us for ever in eternity family because we will be with him in heaven where all of these evil people will not be family we are protected from this evil generation even though we live amongst them the lord will protect us and preserve us it's a promise in the word of god that we can stand on and it even says that right at the beginning as a confirmation the lord's promises are pure like silver refined in the furnace purified seven times over this is a promise in the word of God and the Lord's promises are pure and true and the Lord is faithful. If he's promised us something in his word family, he is faithful and just to do it. God is not a human. He's not man. He will not lie. The Bible says it. God is not a mere human. He will not lie. He holds his word above his own name. He holds his promises in higher regard than himself family. That is how pure the Lord's promises are. And the promise there is that we, the oppressed Christians in this evil day and age that we're living in family, the Lord will preserve us. He will keep us while we're here on earth and for all eternity family. So I want to encourage you to stand on the scripture. When you are feeling oppressed, stand on it and say, Lord, I believe that you are preserving me in this life. You are keeping me safe and protected from the evil things that are going on around us, from the storms that are going on around us, as we've been saying throughout this week, family. So going forward, Today, tomorrow, and throughout the weekend, family, I want to encourage you, when things are getting tough, when things are going difficult, when you're seeing all these evil people around you, just say, thank you, Lord, that you are preserving me in this time. Thank you, Lord, that you are keeping me safe. Thank you, Lord, that you're keeping my family and my loved ones safe. Thank you, Lord, that you are still blessing me and prospering me, keeping me and protecting me, healing me if you've got things that need to be healed from. There are so many promises in the word of God, family. I want to encourage you to go and read your Bible and seek out those promises, family. And as you seek them out, family, start to believe them and confess them over your life. And as you put your faith in those promises as you put your faith in the Lord to fulfill those promises you will start seeing them come to pass in your life family because the Lord's promises are pure as the scripture says here family thank you I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and before I end I'd just like to close in prayer Father God we come to you in Jesus name Lord we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it Lord we thank you for your promises that are written in your word Lord we thank you Lord that your promises are pure and true Lord we thank you Lord that we know that you keep your promises that you are not a man that you would lie Lord that you hold your word above your own name Lord we thank you Lord for your promises. We thank you, Lord, that as it promises here, Lord, that you will protect and preserve and keep the oppressed, Lord. And we pray, Lord, going forward, that as we're going through these challenging times, Lord, that you will continue to keep us, preserve us, and protect us, Lord. You'll protect us. You'll protect our family. You'll protect our jobs and our finances, Lord. You'll protect our health, Lord, from the, the coronavirus and everything that's going on around us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your protection and your preservation over every area of our lives, Lord. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.